day of exploring and it was supposed to be super hot. I didn't really pack a lot of um, warm things. I have a jacket just in case, so let's hope it doesn't get too cold. Let's with fresh vegetables and tea, some iced coffee over there. And then pancakes happened, you know, because breakfast is not the same without it. We're not supposed to do any of these in this old town. Okay, so we're walking in the old city of Mustard and then there is this guy. Can you see him? Is he in the view of my picture? Is he right behind me? Oh, there he is. With the phone, you see him? He's been following me and taking a picture of me. Okay, so now he's right in front of me and we're filming each other. There you have it. I'm popular here. They love it. So we came into the Hammam Museum, which is, it feels like a little bit of a joke. So they have towels, loofahs, and soaps, and they tell you that they use that in the, in their baths. Like, yeah, really? I totally didn't expect that. So there is a whole poster about the Ottoman ritual, a bathhouse ritual, which is basically, they get undressed, they go to the rooms, they wash themselves, they get a scrub and a massage. Like. I don't know. I don't know why this is fascinating to be in a museum, but it tells you something about humankind. It's like, it's insane. I find it hilarious. Okay, flip flops that I used in the hammam. Like, if I wore this, I would probably like fall off. What is that? And like, it's marble floor as well. The only good thing about this is the structure of the building because it actually used to be a hammam. But now that they took it out of the purpose and they made it into a museum, it's starting to be like really annoying. Like if it was a hammam, it would have been like so much better. Okay, so right in front of the hammam museum, the toilet museum, um, there is a mosque. paintings inside the mosque are from the 16th century and the representation of like the surrounding fruit that is in the nature around them. We liked it. It was like super tiny. It took us about five minutes but it was cool anyway. So this little bridge called the Crooked Bridge and it was built as a prototype for the old bridge and it wasn't destroyed by the war. It was like one of the only ones that actually um, survived but then it was destroyed by the floods and the river and this is how you need to walk over the bridge heel down and the feet here and only on these raised bits To the Ottoman house we go. We had to take our shoes off and we're headed up. Okay, so we've just been to the Ottoman house, the first of a few here in Mostar, and it's really cute. And you know, it has all these old objects in it, and it was set as how it's supposed to be in the olden days and it's just really chilled out it's super quick so it's just like three rooms upstairs and the courtyard where you can listen to the fountain you can hear it in the video lunch time okay so we left the old city and we just kept going straight and look what we found more of the river and it's raining heavily. It's so bad. It's like um, it's like London all over again. But it's still absolutely stunning. And on this part of town, 
you see more of um, what the war destroyed. Like there is a building, it's still like completely destroyed. Then there is a one to this other side. I can't get over how beautiful this view is.